and Beetlejuice from Reddit's Wicked Edge Shaving Forum. And uh, we're, uh, or, I'm not sure what you're doing. I'm doing day two on the Zoric Blade. It's a uh, stainless steel blade out of India. And today I'm going to give it a try with a feather popular handle. This is uh, Mitchell's Wolf Hat being put on with a Volfix Pure Badger brush. And if you haven't seen it before, the Feather Popular, the Feather 800 is a twist to open, long handled, economically priced. Which is strange because the feather, uh, straight edge injector, is almost two hundred bucks. The feather blades themselves are some of the most expensive on the market. At a horrendous fourteen cents each, I think is what my supply cost me. But uh, the handle itself, this guy can be found easily under twenty dollars. Now, um, it is good construction. I would not call it great. The underside of the head is plastic. Uh, the handle is plastic. That ferrule is metal, although it, I don't know, that could be chrome plastic easily. The only real metal part of that is the center guard and the butterflies. Other than that, the rest of the skin is plastic. Yeah, it's not necessarily a bad thing, it means that the weight is a little bit lighter than I prefer. But that holds the blade exactly where it needs to be. It's a milder shaver than, say, a Gillette. Certainly, the future is more aggressive. It's not as bad as the Weishi for mild. And it's probably a little bit more aggressive than the Wilkinson. Uh, handle. This is the Zurich blades. Again, blades are a personal thing and dependent on the handle you're using. So the blade that works for me may not work for you. In this handle, any blade is tame, even a feather. For me at least, seem to be exceptionally gentle. Which may be why this razor is so tame. It's uh, designed to work with a feather blade and those are sharp and aggressive and I may have factored into the design. We built these for feather blades that better work properly. So, yeah. Having said that, Do better than that. So to give you an idea, you don't very often see me do a three pass shave, and certainly not in a little week. This is kind of um, depressing.
partially mild. That's side of the coin, if you have somebody who's somewhat timid about wanting to get into it, double edge shaving that is, um, I'd recommend this. It's a nice economical first handle. I see no reason why with a couple of years, or a couple of simple, careful um, and not careful, a couple of conscientious just not getting down. Wow. Uh, just being careful, keeping it clean, keeping it dry. Um, this can work. However, if you're using this particular blade and you have my face, um, you're probably going to get the G. It doesn't shave as good as I thought it might. Well, you'd be right in this case. I think he's a future to smooth an egg. This guy, not so much. Better, but this is almost turning into method shaving. G-hooking, this is a razor you'd probably want to use. And I am out of time. I'm going to have to get to work. So I can make money. So I can buy more razors. Because let's be honest. Apparently that's all I do, right? A kid, a kid. It's a Great hobby. A little cheaper than a lot. It could be worse. It could be collecting Fabergé eggs or something. And there you go. The Rare Beetlejuice 4 pass shave, and I'm still kind of scratchy in places. However, um, no tugging, no pulling. A reasonable shave, but as I said, the feather popular doesn't really do nicely with anything but a feather in it. So there you go. Anyway, till next time, I'm Beetlejuice. Keep them sharp.